total work of art, Gesamtkunstwerk, that wants to bring together different art forms, and here we are. And it is, first of all, a story that is universal, that touches everyone, two lovers, and um, this kind of going together of love and death at the same time, that's a concept that we have to think about, it makes us it, it, it makes our brain work. What, what does that mean? What is love actually about? And why is it connected to death in such an extreme way? Even going further to question our concept of death through the concept of love. Exactly. And that is something quite amazing. <laughs> this poem that Wagner wrote at first um, is, is very fascinating, it's, it's very interesting. The language that he invents is something unique. You don't find this anywhere else in German poetry or in, um, in, the, in the art of writing opera libretti. Um, and what it does, together with the music, it brings out something that was discovered and described much later. That's all about psychology and all about the unconscious inside of us. And that's so fascinating that Wagner without... Of course, he could not study Freud because Freud was not there yet, but he had an intention that um, brings us already into this direction and that makes it so fascinating also as, as, as a director or um, as visual designers to bring this on stage. There's a, there's a mixture between knowledge and instinct, which means you need to know the words, you need to know the score, all this uh, you need to study and then you need, in order to invent something that goes beyond what you can express with words and with other things, you need to trust the things that come that come to you in association, in a free association, quite specific, in connection to studying the material. It's a way how we look at uh, at collages from Max Ernst. Yeah, they are um, on on the first view they are 
images and uh, thoughts mixed together that does not belong, but in the mixture they produce a higher truth. We are in the middle of this storm mm. with all the ingredients around us and we need to find the right flow that we are with the storm and not against it. timeless piece so time is important yes as a structure of that piece time is important as a phenomenon that also dictates parts of that story um, because time passes but time goes back and we have this fantastic idea of Wagner to go into the subconscious memory of Tristan and he actually tells us that he has memories from his childhood, from his time as a little baby and even before when he was in the womb of his mother and even before that. And then in the, actually in the same scene he goes into the other direction. Where will this all go after his death? So what a huge concept of time going into two eternal directions and maybe closing at some point. Uh, so that's, that's the important thing when we talk about time and Tristan and Isolde, much less the actual time of the medieval story or the time when Wagner lived, or even our time, it becomes less important when we see what this work can tell us about time. Away. So, uh, from it's already a step from sculpture to installation and then to installation with performers, installation including music and so on and so on. And so, uh, all single art forms actually in their own fields merging more and more to an idea of Gesamtkunstwerk, which means in concert halls you have now uh, fantastic uh, creations like what Ralf did with Joyce Di Donato, where also other ingredients from total different art forms than the fantastic singing of, the, of Joyce uh, came together. So you have this in concert halls and at the same time you have an winner of the Venice Biennale 
uh, who uh, made an installation which included performers, dancers and dogs. So here we are, all on, uh, uh, on the Wagner path.